Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access a Trader.com. Uh, nightly wrap of show up everybody is uh, doing well. As you can see or hear by my voice, I've been fighting some seasonal something or other uh, for the last like four or five days. Uh, my kids were sick. My mom who doesn't even live anywhere near us is sick. Everybody I know is sick. Some seasonal strains. So hopefully whatever the hell this is, I can uh, get through this damn thing for the next couple of days. But uh, it is what it is. Again, part of life. Allergies are just, just absolutely terrible. So hopefully you guys are doing a lot better uh, than me. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, welcome to the infirmary. Um, if you are uh, brand new to the channel, like guys, all I ask is uh, click a like, subscribe to the channel, uh, share uh, with your friends, and I will uh, continue to try to do my best uh, on a daily unbiased view of technical analysis. So market continues uh, to grind higher. That is the technical view. Uh, again, if you've been watching this channel, uh, especially for the last three weeks, you know why. You know, we would claim back uh, the 50-day moving average, and now we've just been grinding, absolutely grinding higher. Uh, we are down to the final stretch into uh, technology earnings. Uh, the big one that everybody is waiting for is NVIDIA that is reporting Wednesday after the close. Again, We've seen all the buyers come in, literally all the buyers come in. Uh, the bets are made, uh, the actors, the stage is set. And now the question is, how is the market going to uh, view its earnings? We saw a good amount of $1,000 calls being bet today, 1,050 calls being bet. Uh, so we'll see, you know, we'll see. Again, we talked about it on the weekend video. We'll see if this is a scenario of, uh, you know, the stock is built in and baked into earnings or this thing have more uh, room to run. Uh, Tesla, I am going to do, uh, I am going to completely do the unthinkable. Okay. I am going to ignore the hot girl. Okay. Um, the, the stock has been stuck in the middle of the range now uh, for the last, you know, let's see here, for the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's two weeks. Tomorrow will be day, basically, start of the third week of distribution. Wake me up. Okay, wake me up. As soon as this damn thing gets above supply, it should go higher. If it gets below demand, it should go lower. But I am going to do the unthinkable. I'm not going to talk about this thing tomorrow, especially in the webinar. I'm not going to talk about this thing tomorrow on the nightly update. I wanted to see this thing ignored, and hopefully the hot girl will turn around and say, hey, he's kind of interesting. That's exactly what we want. So until Tesla comes out of this range, I am going on a strike. That's it. I'm not talking about Tesla until it comes out of this range right? That's that. Weird kind of day today. So you had the market gap up today. Uh, a lot of names gapped up and kind of grinded it higher. It wasn't one of those prototypical days that AMD is exploding and, and, and you know, Meta's exploding and the hot girl's exploding, right? Everything was just grinding. You could kind of see by, you know, by, by the charts. Google, you know, a couple of days ago, we talked about it, took out the earnings high, just grinded it higher. Uh, Microsoft, you know, just grinding, just grinding higher. Uh, it's about, you know, you know, very, very close uh, to taking out the top of the range here, but it's not there just yet. Uh, Apple continues its earnings grind. It's the same chart as uh, as Google. If you look at Google's chart and uh, Apple's chart, it's the same thing. Once it got above the earnings highs, it's just grinding higher. Uh, AMD could be explosive in the next couple of days. If it could reclaim back the 50-day moving average, you can see here it's been rejected off this line, this uh, aqua line. Uh, that's the 50-day moving average. It's been rejected there three times. It needs to get back above it uh, to really have an expansion day. Um, a name, for example, like Amazon, it was kind of what it's kind of weird, man. So Amazon had this really great run, and it's having a hard time getting back above the 10-day moving average. The 10-day for me is the birth of the trade. Um, so it's very, very odd that it's taking a full week to get back above the 10-day, but it's obviously something uh, we want to you know, pay close attention to. 
uh, you know, maybe wakes up in the next couple of days. But names that we talked about last uh, on the weekend video, in, in a weird way, this this day was kind of wild, not because of the stocks that we normally trade. It's the stocks that we normally don't. And if you look at the if you look at the pivots today, um, and I only traded today a handful of names, but <clears throat> if you look at the pivots today, it's not our traditional Apple, Google, Amazon, and so forth and so on. There's a lot of names that usually wouldn't make the list, but the fact that everything kind of gapped up and went sideways, you know, we were very forced to either kind of trade what you feel um, that you're uncomfortable with, or just trade unconventional names. And you know, you could you could see here. You actually you know what? Let's go through the names. You could see here, Robinhood. Uh, we talked about Robinhood on the weekend video. Actually, looks great. It actually looks great. Uh, but this is the difference between a high beta name, mega technology a high flyer than everything else, right? So, you know, if if NVIDIA broke out, which it did a few, a few days ago, the stock would go up 20, 30 points. When a normal stock breaks out, well, here it is, right? NVIDIA uh, Hood uh, 2055 needs to confirm and stop there pretty much pre-market. Uh, nice move on Hood. I still like this thing. I think this thing goes higher, uh, closes the highest close and the whole formation uh, broke out today very, very aggressively. I was joking around with a, a buddy of mine. I'm like, well, why can't this thing turn into a meme stock? You wake up in the morning, it's up 100%. And the answer to that is because you're in it, right? It's never the one that you're in. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Hood, really nice breakout. Again, congratulations to all you guys for holding, who bought the initial dip into the 40s. But uh, overall, closed at the highs of the day. Uh, Airbnb, we're watching to the downside, never got there. Arm, man, I don't know. Uh, Arm 109.60 if it builds below, can, can flush. It went down like 70, 80 cents, and then it went back up. I don't know. Complete, complete waste of time. Uh, TTD, I believe we talked about TTD on uh, the weekend video as well. 95.40 uh, needs to build. Here is uh, TTD. It got above the 95.40. Had big moves. Closed at the highs. Uh, 97.50s. Nice move there on that as well and boeing you guys remember we talking about boeing on the weekend video all you gotta do is go back to one video we talked about kind of the same scenario as tesla was like all the bad news was baked in well here was tesla bro it, it was, here was boeing it broke out on friday above the 184 needs to build the, you know you had some june 200 calls coming in and this morning 185.40 needs to confirm friday's move and here was boeing right here was boeing a uh, beautiful move hit right the right to the Bollinger Band uh, into the 188.50s. Really nice move on Boeing. Uh, and look at this thing. You know, talk about a stock that we would never, right? We would never trade. And again, I didn't trade the stupid thing, and I'm I'm the one that's pretty much stupid because look what the damn thing did. So this VFS, which I've never heard of, they started coming with, with June 750 calls, like out of nowhere, 750, 750, 750, and it got rejected at the 65 day. Okay. I go, it needs to close above 550. Look at this move on, and here it is right here on the on the 60 minute. But look at this move on on this VFS, man. It got above the 550. This thing traded all the way up to almost 650. Uh, big move on VFS. Congratulations for you guys uh, who are in this thing. Uh, SMCI, you know, went down about 10, 8, 10 points, and then it reversed right back. Uh, nothing there, uh, nothing really there as well. But again, it gave a 70 point move to the downside. Other than that, that's it. You know, I took a couple of bounces today. Um, Tesla with the girl, the hot girl that we're ignoring. You know, it, it failed, you know, it failed the five day. I tried to bounce it on the five day. It went up like 30, 40 cents. It looked heavy. I used break even as my stop. And I tried to uh, balance NVIDIA and the video went up like a dollar, dollar and change. Uh, you know, took a little bit off. It was so it, it, the, the morning balances were so heavy. Uh, the morning balances were so heavy that um, you, you know you couldn't give it a lot of room just because you know the market's going linear and any pull could be uh, your last. But overall, you know, you know, you had some decent stuff. Hood closed at the highs of the day, so that's fine. Uh, but other than that, going into tomorrow, um, you know, look at some alternative names just in case the beta names kind of go sideways tomorrow. Let me give you guys some names that I do like. Look at Envax. Look at this NVAX chart. Beautiful chart. Re really, really beautiful chart. A non-beta name. Uh, but look at this chart. Gorgeous chart. Had a big, big move. Went sideways for a week. 
If it could get above the top of the range, uh, this thing could wake up. Uh, Bitcoin, I believe today went um, 70,000. Uh, Mara broke out today. We saw some July, August, $27 calls. Big, somebody called it out on the webinar today. I'm not, it wasn't me, I know that. Uh, got above this 21, uh, went to almost 23. If it could start reclaiming today's channel tomorrow, maybe this thing could wake up as well. Uh, CLSK, another uh, cheapy, you know, nice looking chart. Got back above the 50 day moving average. This is the highest close in this whole formation. See if it could take out this whole range here. If it could take out the range uh, going back to January, February, March, April, right? April, you know, who knows? Maybe this thing could start uh, expanding as well. Robinhood, again, I really like uh, again. And, you know, definitely, definitely keep an eye on AMD uh, just for the next couple of days because this is one of the very few uh, beta names that have not reclaimed back the 50-day moving average because if this thing does reclaim back the 50-day, I really believe that this thing could start catching up to its peers. That's it, guys. Um, Got to run. Again, I'm gonna every day I'm trying to, to get to 100%, uh, but these seasonal allergies are just absolutely killing me. The worst part of it is I actually started feeling better in the afternoon. The worst part about having a seasonal allergy, whatever the case may be, is there's you have no temperature. So you feel like crap. You feel like you should have temperature and you don't have it. And this is like now day four or five. So I'm hoping you know, by tomorrow, that by, by Wednesday, I'll be 100%. But hopefully, again, all you guys are happy and healthy. And with God's help, I will see you tomorrow on the video. Take care, guys.